Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome and thanks for tuning in. My name is Dim Malmi and I'm a Nigerian YouTuber living in Lagos, Nigeria. So this video is going to be about a technique that I have seen a lot of people do here on YouTube and it's the powder before foundation technique. The first person I saw do this was Jackie and Patricia also did a video on it recently but the person that got me really really curious on this was my friend Nello Keke because she also has a video on this and when she was with me, you guys saw her in my last vlog, she was here my birthday week every single time that she would do her makeup she would use this technique and her makeup was literally flawless throughout the entire day so I wanted to try it, I've been wanting to try it since then but I wanted to do it on camera to tell you guys how it's held up and how it performed and all of that I'm also going to include a quick makeup tutorial in this video and it's on the look that I had on in my top 5 highlighters for women of color video so if you want to see me create that look and see what I think of the powder before foundation technique please keep watching so I already did one eye to speed things up. I'm going to go on ahead and prime my right eye now and I'm going to be using my MAC Prep and Prime 24 hour extend eye base. Just a little bit. I'm just going to pat it into my eyes. It's going to prevent my eyeshadow from creasing and it's going to help my eyeshadow last all day. For this look, I'm going to be using my Elsa's Pro Palette again. I'm going to go in with this morph shade here. This is my MAC 224 blending brush. I'm going to apply this into my transition area. And for those of you who wonder what my transition area means, it's just slightly above my crease. So in here is my crease, but then taking it upwards here, it's kind of above my crease area. So this color is going to help me blend out my crease color and also blend out where it meets my brow bone highlight color. On my eyelid, I'm going to be using a shimmer shade from that same palette. So to give it something to stick to, I am using my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Strawberry Milk. And it's like a light pink strawberry, no, light, light pink strawberry milk. Hi. And it's like a light pink jumbo pencil with bits of shimmer in it. The thing about the shimmer shades in that Elsa's Pro Palette is that they're really pigmented, but because they have little specks of glitter in them, you tend to get fallout sometimes. So this is going to keep my fallout at a minimum because it's going to give my lid color something to stick to. With a flat synthetic brush, this one is by Juvia's Place, I'm going to take this shade here and I'm going to pat this into my lid area. With my Sigma E45, which is like a tapered crease brush, I'm going to take this shade here and I'm going to start by packing it into my outer corner and then dragging it inwards into my crease. So to blend out my crease color a lot better, I've switched to a MAC 217. This is just going to help me get rid of any harsh lines. To set my brow bone highlights, I'm switching to the Sigma Warm Neutrals palette. I'm taking the shade right here and with a small precision brush by Sephora, I'm taking a little bit, dusting off the excess and I'm going to use this to set the concealer that I have in this area. For my lashes, I am using a pair by a Nigerian brand called Beauty King and this one is in the style Mama de Mama. So for the fun part of this look, I'm going to start out first by priming my skin as usual. I'll be using my Elamasca Matte Veil. So my primer has settled into my skin now. I'm going to go in with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and a powder puff and I'm going to take this and begin to pat it into my skin. Okay, so I'm going to go on ahead and apply my foundation. For this look, I'll be using my Lancome Tint Adore Ultra. It's like a long time no see for this foundation here on this channel. I'm going to take about two and a half pumps. And with my Sigma F80, I'm just working this into my skin. Guys, it's raining again. It's been raining non-stop for the past four days. I'm tired of the rain, please. To highlight, I'll be using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer as usual. To contour, I'll be using my Black Opal Stick Foundation in Black Walnut. This one is a lot darker than Carob is. 
but I want my contour to be really defined for this look. With the same powder puff and powder that I used earlier, I'm going to use this to set my immediate on the eye area. I'm going to set my contour with my ABH contour powder in espresso and the brush that I am using is a small contour brush by Sephora. And I'm setting my entire face with my black up two way cake as usual. The brush that I am using is Max 138. My blush for this look is Max Blush in Raisin, and the brush that I'm using is my Real Techniques blush brush as usual. To balance things out, I'm going to quickly smudge this color here on my lower lash line. To highlight my cheekbones, I am using Max Gold Deposit. Mm. To line my lips, I'll be using Max Lip Pencil in Kuramp. My lipstick for this look is Elamasca Shard. It's a very gorgeous dark plum color. If you guys can remember from that look, my lips were glossy, so I'm going to go over the lipstick with a gloss and this is Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in Black Cherry. So this is the look that I had on in my top 5 highlighters for women of color video. I'm going to go on ahead and get ready now to leave the house. No, not get ready actually. I am already ready. I'm going to go out now and run some errands and come back in a couple of hours and show you guys my face. I'm not going to touch up. Normally within 3 to 4 hours, I would have the need to touch up. But I'll not touch up irrespective of whatever. I will come here and show you guys what my face looks like after I am back. So I'll see you guys when I'm back. Okay guys, I am back. It is 5.49 p.m. I forgot to tell you guys the time the first time around. So I finished my makeup around 1.30 and then I left, I left, and then I left the house around 2 p.m. So I've been wearing this makeup for over four hours now. And this is what my face looks like after four hours of wear, you know? There's a little bit of oil peeking through in my nose. My nose is actually the first part of my face to start getting oily, okay? It is the greasiest part of my face. But then there's a little bit of shine peeking through, but it's not as oily as it would be on a normal day, okay? The rest of my face is pretty much matte now. It's a little bit shocking. And my brows, I powdered my skin down before filling in my brows. My brows are actually another part of my face where you can, you know, you can use to tell if I have started getting oily because it can get shiny sometimes and and it looks pretty much matte. It looks really, really matte now. So this is a really cool trick. Has anyone tried it in the comment section? Please let me know if it worked for you. Let me know, I want to know. And if you've not tried this, consider trying this because if you're someone who has maybe struggled with getting your foundation to last, you're not going to lose anything by trying this. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to thumbs it up and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.